What's up guys, EB Macintosh Tips. Today I'm bringing you guys a great application for your Mac called Jing. This application was supported and brought to you by TechSmith.com. Hope you enjoy. All right, Jing, what is Jing? Jing is very simple. It is a screen shooting application on steroids, okay? As you guys all know, uh, Shift Command 3 will screen shoot your Mac. Shift Command 4 will do a selective screenshot, okay? Um, and uh, screen uh, Jing is basically like a screen shooting on steroids. You can do several things. You can shoot video, you can do uh, pictures, and you can upload them to several other media servers. And I'll show you guys how, to, how this works today and how you can benefit from this app. All right, so let's go right into it. Um, again, this is brought to you by TechSmith. You can check them out at TechSmith.com. All the links will be down below in the uh, menu bar. If you type in Jing here, whether how they found it or it's on your dock or whatever, you're gonna find Jing. It's gonna pop up here, and as soon as it pops up, it's gonna shoot right over to the top right, okay? On the top right of my Safari page. It's gonna like a little sunshine. Now, if I come off of it, it's gonna like a little orange uh, slice. If I hover over it, it'll look like a sunshine. If I hover a little more, it'll give me a pop-out window for three different options, okay? The first option is gonna be capture. Second option is history. And third option is more, okay? Now, the Jing regular version is going to be free. If you guys want to pick up the pro, pro version, it's only $15 a year and it is well worth it, okay, for what you get from this application. All right, let's go to Capture first, all right? If you go to Capture, you get these crosshairs on your cursor, and wherever you hover over, that's where it'll capture, very similar to regular screen shooting, okay? If you want to capture this whole screen, all you do is you just click on your cursor, just one click. It go, go ahead and tells you the dimensions of your window is open, which is uh, 1440 by 874. And if I want to capture this whole screen, I can just click once. It'll capture the whole screen and then put it into a preview window, as you see now. On the bottom left, you get several options after it takes the picture. So you're going to get capture an image. You're going to get capture a video. You're going to get turned on webcam, which is nice. Um, you can do redo selection or you can do cancel. Now, say I'm not very happy with this uh, selection. I'm just going to press cancel. Instead of doing that, I was instead of uh, I guess choosing the whole website, I just wanted to choose their logo. So what I can do is click and drag across, and it makes everything black and white that's not in selection, and brings everything to natural color that is in selection. So this selection here is 125 by 105. I'm just gonna let go, and you can see the same little menu box here. On the bottom it says capture, same options. Now, if I want to capture this logo in into a video file. Um, and do a small tutorial on the logo, which is not a very good video, but say for instance I want to do a video on the logo. I can do that. I can press capture the, the video. I can talk about it. It'll go into a video file. Very similar to QuickTime, okay? Oh, or ScreenFlow. Um, if I say capture an image, it'll pull that image of what I just went over, and it'll. I can press a name. So I can press, uh, type in Jing logo. And then from here, I've got it named. I can share it to screencast.com. I can save it. I can copy it, I can send it to Twitter, and much more options, okay? And you also have customized Jing buttons, and I'll go over that in just a minute. On the top here, you have arrow keys. So I can point to TechSmith, saying they're awesome, whatever. I can take this off, I can put in text, say, free. I can even change the size and the color. I can put it in another box. This gets really crowded, all right? You can move this around. You can also change the size of it. All right, you can also use the uh, block tool or the, I guess this would be called a pencil or pen tool, highlighter, there you go, highlighter tool, change the colors, and uh, undo and redo. Okay, so say I'm happy with this selection. First thing you can do is very simple, is you can save it. You can choose your desktop and press save, okay? I'm gonna press cancel, okay? The second thing you can do is, I'm gonna go and do that screenshot again without the editing, is you can, uh, Capture an image. You can send to screencast. So I'm gonna go ahead and press send to screencast. And as you see on the right side here, I've got screencast. You put in your password. It sends it right to your screencast account. Okay. Over here, I have my screencast account account up. Um, Gene did set us up with a free one year membership for Macintosh Tips. And if you guys want to set it up, it's very easy. It's very similar to Mobile Me. Upload it, and you can uh, set things to private. You can set things to public. You can even set things with a password. So if you want friends to go and activate it, you give them the secret password. They type it in. They can activate your video files, um, your screen captures, and much more media. Okay. And of course, you can check out more um, at Screencast and 
at TechSmith in the links below. Besides that, moving on. Okay, so basically text, uh, Screencast is just kind of a server-based thing for Jing. All right, say I have several windows up, like I have this window up plus this window behind it. The nice thing about Jing is that once you capture, you hover over a selection, I can select and it'll highlight whatever I want selected. So if I want to highlight several, if I want to select several things in my menu bar, I can do that without having to drag the cursor over and let go of the click and get it just perfect. If I just hover over it, it'll highlight it. I can click, it'll become a perfect picture. Now, say I have two windows up like this. If I want to select everything on here, which shows the Jing wall, uh, the Jing uh, website plus my um, Finder window, I can do that. Or I can hover over my my Finder window and highlights the Finder window. It blacks out the back uh, the background. I click on this, I don't have to drag a selection, it automatically tells me that that's in front, and there you go. I can press save, I can even, um, I can I can even tweet it out. Okay, here's the nice thing about um, Jing and also Jing Pro, you can send this straight to YouTube as a video file. Okay, so say I want to tweet this out, so I'm going to say uh, finder, and I say tweet. Okay, it automatically has a drop down window, this is very cool, it uploads the photo, you can even add a message. Okay, so it says top your tweet here. Um, I'm going to say demo over Jing. People will probably look at me crazy. Um, and I press tweet. On the right side, it sees it says tweeted out. Your capture has been successfully uploaded. It was that fast. Now it's on Twitter. Okay, um, so you guys can see it. All right, so very simple, very easy. You can also do the same thing with the video files. Now, if you go over here and press capture and you want to do a video file of your finder. So say capture, I select the thing I want to capture, say capture a video. Three, two, one, the microphone is on. It's filming now, okay? You have the nice film strips on the side showing you that it is recording, okay? And on the bottom here, you have the density of how long it is, and it, I'm running at 10 seconds. So go ahead and stop or finish recording. You can even pause or turn on your webcam and also mute your mic. So there's some awesome options here. I'll go ahead and stop, finish recording. It's gonna open to a window and show me my recording. Okay, very simple, very easy, very nice. I want to say sexy interface, guys. Um, it is on. It's filming now. As you see, okay. it's very simple. Nice it works. You can even change the name of it. Um, you can adjust your audio options. And down here, you get the same options. You've got share to screencast. You've got save, save to your desktop, save to wherever, tweet it out, or send it to YouTube. Okay? You even have more customized buttons, or you can cancel out of it. If I go to customized buttons, you can move these buttons around. You can put them in the trash by just dragging, dropping. Yes, I want to delete. Or I can add new buttons. So say I want to add a YouTube button. I'm going to call this Macintosh Tips. All right, enter my URL. I get it authorized, and boom. I have it right there under my YouTube. Okay? So if I want to send this off to YouTube, I hit YouTube on the bottom right. Hit YouTube. It uploads. It takes no time to upload, guys. It's very fast, it's very simple and easy. It even supports audio, okay? It's a very nice application. All right, now let's go into what you get um, with the pro version over the regular version. On, if you scroll down here on the website, it's gonna say pro, all right? Something you get with the pro version. One, you get to upload to YouTube, all right? Now, it is, it is convenient to just hit the YouTube button and upload it. If you don't wanna pay for the pro version, you can save it to your desktop, open up YouTube, log in, press upload, wait for it to upload, and not running in the background and it, and, it, and it uploads, okay? I know you can do it without having the pro version, it's just nice to have that feature, okay? It even supports different video files, different video formats. Uh, you can share faster with smaller video files, so it compresses it. Uh, you can dump the <laughs> billboard look, so it gives a nice little sexier interface uh, with the pro version. You can even, it even supports your webcam, okay? So it gives it a more personal touch, very similar to ScreenFlow, all right? The pro version is only uh, is nineteen sorry fourteen ninety five a year, and let me say for what you get if you're doing YouTube videos if you're all, uh, if you're always tweeting stuff out this is a great application it's very simple it's easy and it's very user friendly. Let's go into um, the history. All you do if you want to hit history you have this pop up window. It says everything that I have. So if I accidentally cancel out of something or say I want to upload this to Twitter, I can do that. I can take a look at it. I can share it or I can delete it. So say I want to share, I want to share it to my desktop or wherever I want to share it to, okay? Say I want to tweet this out. I can say, Jing demo 
and hit tweet. It's, guys, it's that simple. You see how fast it uploads, okay? I can support it. I can, sorry, um, sort it out, filter it through images, videos, or both. So very simple, very easy. Um, you can even do date and size. So it's a very easy interface, guys. The last thing I'll go over is the options you're going to get for Jing Pro um, or Jing. Uh, if, if I'm done with my options, I can hit done. It goes back to the right side. Um, I can send feedback to Jing. Um, I can go to preferences, which I'll go over. Help, it'll help you out with several things, uh, troubleshooting options, or I can hit quit if I just want to quit Jing. Um, this is one thing I think you could have done, um, Jing could have done. Uh, one, they could have had like a quick quick quit or a quick, op quick open feature. They do have it that when your, your Mac starts up, you can go ahead and have Jing launch, which is nice, um, instead of having to type in Jing. Um, but if you don't want to run all the time, you have to type it in, you have to go to, this, to the thing to quit it. If I go over to preferences, I can click on this, uh, here's my capture hotkey. So whatever your capture hotkey wants to be, you just click on that and you hit your capture hotkey and that's what it becomes. So say I want it to be Command J. So for Jing, Command J. My video format, it supports SWF or MPEG-4. I want to stick with MPEG-4. I can manage my account. I can launch a startup, like I was saying before, or I can customize my buttons, which I already showed you guys. All right. So I'm going to hit Done. It saved my settings. The last thing I think uh, Gene could have performed on a little better uh, was an options um, to to not only support um, the hot corners or expose, which it does well, uh, but to support uh, a way that if you don't want this window, instead of having to cancel out of the screen capture, then you can um, maybe hit command or shift or control, and it goes back to your cursor hand. So if say I hit like command, shift, or control, it goes to the cursor, I can hit this tab over here, and it'll switch over and then I can screenshot that. So just a few things that they could improve on, which you know every app is always gonna have new updates, new things as they grow. Um, but by the way, guys, uh, besides that, it's a great application. I highly recommend it. If you guys wanna try it, it's free. Check out the link below. I'm telling you, you're gonna use it all the time, especially with your Twit pics, if you guys do a lot of Twitter or just some quick videos. Um, if you want the pro version, it does support the webcam. It's very nice, it has a very nice interface. It's sexy, it's fast and it's very easy to use. Anyways guys, this has been EB with Macintosh Tips. Hope you've enjoyed this demo over Jing. I know I've enjoyed the complete app. Uh, and check out this the Shutter Shades, Kanye West style. Um, we're gonna be running these more often, just a little inside joke with me and Scooter. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.